Moore snatched the small chainsaw and gave Clay's head a hit, taking it without any harm. However, the small chainsaw was now broken. Moore grabbed a large hammer from the side and swung it down forcefully. The small hammer head flew into the bucket, frightening the nun below. She was ready to go up to the roof but found the ladder was split in half. On the other side, three people were figuring out how to fix the clock. Larry pulled out the fix plug, and the clock slid down directly, knocking out the nun. The three watching were almost scared to death and prepared to come down immediately to rescue her. However, the next second, Just as the nun was waking up, she was knocked out again by the two men. The two men turned back and were instantly shocked. Behind them, Clay was unexpectedly on stilts. To prevent Clay from hitting the nun, the two men quickly dragged her away. Now, nah, what should they do? Quick, splash some water on her face. After doing a good deed, the three drove away in a car, coincidentally knocking down the ladder with the dean on it. When they turned back and saw her, they thought they had encountered a pervert. Without a word, they rushed up and gave her a good beating. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time, and finally, they realized it was the dean. The three quickly apologized. However, the dean was not going to let it go. Later, he gathered everyone together and announced a significant decision. Due to the severe lack of funds recently, their orphanage would be forcibly closed at the end of the month. The three were dumbfounded upon hearing this. If the orphanage closed, what would happen to them and the children? The dean explained that unless someone could come up with 830,000, to clear the dip by the end of the month. The orphanage could not continue. As the only three men in the orphanage, they immediately took on the responsibility of saving the orphanage. So, amidst the farewell of the crowd, the three set out to make money in the city. To save on transportation costs to the city, they Saturday on their homemade tricycle, hoping to catch a riot, just as they hooked onto a passing cyclist. Moore noticed a problem. Hey Bunyan Head, you forgot to tie us off to the handlebars. I couldn't reach it, so I tied us to the back tire. Oh, good. <laughs> In this way, amidst the nuns' prayers, the three were dragged into the city. Arriving in the city, they sought employment. Suddenly, Moore remembered that the dean had given them $70 before leaving. So, they thought of using this $70 as capital to venture into agriculture. The dean often told them, as you sow, so shall you reap. Following this principle, they started farming fish on the golf course. However, they couldn't understand why others planted and harvested accordingly, while their fish farming attracted numerous flies and, unexpectedly, the police. Seeing the police, the three brothers ran, inadvertently finding themselves in a dead-end alley. Luckily, there was a small iron door nearby. Knowing Clay's head was hard, they hugged Clay tightly, and with a crash, the iron door swung open. Inside, the three didn't care about the surroundings and began blaming each other. Larry and Clay blamed Moore for being too proud, as they could have convinced Teddy to help solve the orphanage issues without becoming so desperate. Moore complained that if it weren't for his desire to take them away together, the person adopted by the rich lady would have been him, and he wouldn't know how comfortable his life could be. While arguing, the three got into a fight. In the end, the other two left Moore alone and walked away in anger. Little did they know that as soon as they left, applause erupted from the audience. Moore was left bewildered. It turned out to be a comedy show audition. The director immediately recognized Moore's talent and decided to make him famous. Unable to persuade Teddy, the three returned to the orphanage disappointed, only to be shocked by what they saw. The entire orphanage had transformed into an amusement park and the nuns were enjoying the sun. After some inquiries, they learned it, that the director had seen the potential in them and wanted to sign them to his company for film production. The dead and renovation expenses for the orphanage were just a down payment for signing them. Upon hearing this, the three promptly signed the contract and became the next generation of comedy superstars. Everyone was ecstatic, except for the unlucky nun, who found herself in yet another miserable situation. 